Hi there, it's your favorite twin fool twin, Tasha. And I'm just wrapping up a really, really long day at my business conference. We started our meetings early this morning and I just got back to my room. And so as I was getting ready to call it a night, I started flipping through my um, twinless twin uh, support group page. And it's crazy because I actually got a little bit frustrated and almost angry. Um, and I thought, you know what, I just, I need to make a video because I'm feeling very passionate right now and those sometimes are when my most profound thoughts are shared. There were some messages about it's never going to get easier and I'm always going to feel broken or lost. Um, I'm never going to heal. And I get frustrated with that. Uh, for a couple different reasons. One is there are a whole lot of twins in that group that have have shared that it does get easier and you can actually start to heal and I know it doesn't seem like it right now but if you keep telling yourself it's not going to get easier and you keep telling yourself you're always going to be broken then it'll be true. I spent 36 years of my 41 years being twinless, I spent 36 years believing that I was going to live the rest of my life being broken. And it wasn't until I started doing some really deep soul searching that I came to some very powerful realizations. And here's what they are. When I was in that womb with my twin, yes, we were biochemically synchronized because we shared that same space. But I do have my own body. And my body is complete and whole. And though I shared that womb with my twin, I was gifted with my own soul. A soul that was uniquely created by my God, by my creator. And it's from that eternal place that he sent us here in a blessed way to be together. To be able to share the womb, but not share our soul's vessel. Our vessels were still separate. And so as I've progressed through my journey, what I realized is that I am still whole. I still have all of my body and I still have all of my soul. And the only thing that's convincing me otherwise is my mind. It's my mind that tells me that I will always be broken or that I will never be whole again. It's my mind that says a part of me died with my twin. The only thing that died was my twin's body. That's it. Her soul is very much still with me. And she makes her presence known. When I allow myself to be open to it, she makes her presence known. So I'm sorry if I sound a little bit frustrated right now, but I kind of am. I want to be like, come on, you guys. Now, I get when you're really, really early on in the grief. I understand. You need to go through your phases. You need to process it. I totally get that. But the, I guess the part that frustrates me is that you are the only one in control of your mind. And if you keep filling your mind with thoughts of, I will always be broken. I will always be, be lost. I will always, always, always feel this way. Then, then that is going to be your truth. And the only way that's going to change is when you change what you say to yourself. We have a whole world that wants you to believe that you will always feel that way. There's a whole world that doesn't understand twins and our connection. But what I can promise you is that when you're ready to move from twinless to twinful, you will absolutely know how whole you are. You will absolutely feel your twin power as you get around other twins. No one can take that from you. No one. I love you and I look forward to when you rediscover your power. Always. In. Always. From my heart to yours. Good night.